Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the problems on Cauchy's integral formula and generalization formula. So first example is evaluate using Cauchy's theorem integral c z cube e power minus z by z minus one whole cube d z where c is modulus of z minus one equal to one by two using Cauchy's integral formula. Here the given region is mod z minus one is equal to one by two. Radius is one by two. And center at one comma zero. How to get this center at one comma zero? Z is equal to one. Z value is, Z is right as x plus i y equal to one. X quadrant is one. Y quadrant is zero. Always we are comparing the value with x plus i y. So x quadrant is one and y quadrant is zero. So that's why center at one comma zero. X axis, y axis. On x axis I identify the points. This is zero point five one. By two, next one, three by two. By uh, middle point of one and two is three by two, one point five and two. So now the center of the circle is one comma zero and radius is one by two. So zero to half means that one by two, one point five. This is the radius. On this radius, we can draw a circle. After that, we can go to the point, singular point. How to get the singular point? Then denominator equate to the zero. Then we can get the singular point. Z minus one whole cube equal to zero. Z is equal to one. So Z is equal to one lies inside the C because of the center of the circle is one comma zero. So that's why the given point Z is equal to one is lies inside the circle. Consider the function f of Z is equal to Z minus three. Is this? Sorry, z cube e power minus z. Why? Because of the given integral is comparing with f of z by z minus a whole power n plus one into dz. So hence, by Cauchy's integral formula, f par n third derivative of f of a or f par n of a is equal to n factorial by two pi i integral c f of z by z minus a whole power n plus one dz. So here z is equal to a. Our a value is one and n is equal to two because of n plus one is equal to three. N is equal to two. So we need to find the second order derivative for f of a. A value is one, so that's why f double dash of one is equal to two. N value two, two factorial by two pi i integral c. F of z value is z cube e power minus z by z minus one whole cube into dz. Now integral c z cube e power minus z by z minus one whole cube is equal to here two two cancel then cross multiply this pi i into f double dash of one f double dash of one means second order derivative of f of z at z is equal to one so that's why we can write d square by d z square of f of z what is our f of z z cube e power minus z here we can Consider e power minus z is u, z cube is v. So by applying the formula u v dash plus v u dash, so u is e power minus z. Z cube derivative is 3z square minus z cube into y. We write minus. Actually, it is a plus z cube. E power minus z uh, derivative is minus e power. Minus z. That's why we can get here negative sign minus at z is equal to one because of f double dash of one means f of z at z is equal to one. So that's why we can take uh, d square by d z square double dash means second order derivative d d z square by Uh, d square by d z square z cube e power minus z. So first order derivative is completed. Then next go to the second order. Again you have to use u v. So here uh, three is a constant u v z square uh, derivative is two z two z into three six z e power minus z plus 3z square into e power minus z derivative is minus e power minus z. That's why we can get here minus 3z square e power minus z minus. Again, you can use u v because of here both the functions are in z. So that's why we are applying u v formula. So Here u v minus of z cube derivative is 3z square into e power minus z 
plus z cube e power minus z derivative is minus e power minus z that's why we can get here minus z cube e power minus z at z is equal to 1 now pi i into simplify the function z cube e power first uh, z cube terms we you can write first minus of minus plus z cube e power minus z and here minus 3z square e power minus z minus 3 e power uh, 3z square e power minus z minus 6z square e power minus z plus 6z e power minus z at z is equal to 1. Now you can substitute the z value is 1 because of a is 1. So 1 e power minus 1 minus 6 e power minus 1 plus 6 e power minus 1. So, minus 6 e power minus 1 plus 6 e power minus 1 cancel. We get pi i into e power minus 1. So, the answer is pi i by e. So, next example is evaluate integral c 4 minus 3 z by z into z minus 1 z minus 2 into dz where c is the circle mod z is equal to 3 by 2 or evaluate integral over mod z is equal to 3 by 2 4 minus 3 z by z into z minus 1 z minus 2 dz means that the given region is uh, in the integral only so what is the given region here mod z is equal to 3 by 2 means the center at 0 and radius is 1.53 by 2 so uh, this is x axis y axis so you can uh, draw a circle with radius 1.5 that is mod z is equal to 3 by 2 here f of z is 4 minus 3 z by z into z minus 1 z minus 2 so uh, two processes to solve this type of problems first one is you can apply partial fractions how to find the partial fractions to this function we have a method to find a partial fractions that is a by z plus b by z minus 1 plus c by z minus 2 so you can find a b c values by using partial fractions we get a function with three terms individually you can apply the integration after that which point is inside you can find the integration for that point which point is outside that integration is equal to zero by using Cauchy's integral theorem theorem that is one method now i am introducing another method to find this type of problems so here the singular uh, singularities of f of z are given by denominator equate to the zero z is equal to zero one comma two how many points are inside here only two points are inside because of center is 0 to the circle so that's why one singular point 0 is inside and another point is 1 so we have 1 inside to the circle 1 so this is 1 0 1 inside but it is uh, the circle of radius is 1.5 so that's why 2 is outside the given region so that's why we have given circle mod z is equal to 3 by 2 with center at 0 comma 0 and radius is 3 by to the singularities z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 lies inside the circle and z is equal to 2 lies outside the circle so now you have to find the integration by using Cauchy's integral formula at z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 so z is equal to 2 is outside so that's why that integration value is 0 so that's why no need to go to z is equal to 2 so how to find find this integral c 4 minus 3 z by z into z minus 2 z minus 1 dz is equal to integral i am separating as a two integrals that is integral c1 plus integral c2 c1 is right with depending on first singular point z is equal to 0 so z is equal to 0 means only 
write the denominator z terms so the remaining terms included in f of z means 4 minus 3z by z minus 1 into z minus 2 by z this is also equal to 4 minus 3z by z into z minus 1 z minus 2 so that's why here first singular point is z is equal to 0 so that's when i, I write the integration for c1 with f of z is 4 minus 3z by z minus 1 z minus 2 by z into dz plus other integration other curve i am taking the curve c2 with the center at z is equal to 1 uh, that f of z is equal to 4 minus 3 z by z into z minus 2 by z minus 1 into dz so this formula this uh, step is right by using multiple connected regions in the region R, we have two regions with curves C1 and C2. What are the two regions R1 and R2? Curve C1 and C2. By using multiple connected region, we have a formula integral C f of z dz is equal to integral C1 f of z dz plus integral C2 f of z dz. By using that formula, I am writing the given f of z as under C1 and C2. So, where C1 is a circle uh, draw with center at z is equal to 0 and c2 is the circle draw with center uh, z is equal to 1 this one these two circles okay now integral c 4 minus 3 z by z into z minus 1 z minus 2 dz is equal to so we are comparing with the uh, Cauchy's integral formula so f of a is equal to 1 by uh, 2 pi i integral c f of z by z minus a here a value is 0 f of z is equal to 4 minus 3 z by z minus 1 into z minus 2 that is uh, the that's why we can write that integration value is 2 pi i into uh, f1 of 0 because of two functions are there so that's why i'm taking f1 of 0 plus 2 pi i into f2 of 1 f2 of 1 because of here a value is 1 f of z value is 4 minus 3 z by z into z minus 2 that one uh, here where f1 of z is equal to 4 minus 3 z by z minus 1 z minus 2 and f1 of 0 is equal to by substituting 0 we get 4 by minus 1 minus 2 that is 4 by 2 value is 2 next f2 of z is equal to 4 minus 3 z by z into z minus 2 and f2 of 1 you can substitute the z is equal to 1 4 minus 3 1 by 1 into 1 minus 2 minus 1 so that is f2 of 1 is equal to minus 1 now we are substituting the values 2 pi i into f1 of 0 value is 2 plus 2 pi i into f2 of value is minus 1 2 pi i common 2 minus 1 value is 1 answer is 2 pi i so next example is evaluate integral c z cube minus sin 3z by z minus pi by 2 whole cube dz with c mod z is equal to 2 using Cauchy's integral formula. Here the given region is mod z is equal to 2. So the given region is a circle with center at 0 and radius is 2 units. So uh, that's why we can write f of z is equal to z cube minus sin 3z is analytic inside the circle mod z is equal to 2. Inside the circle at each and every point the um, uh, function is given function f of z is analytic we know that and the singular point uh, a is equal to pi by 2 lies inside the see how can you say uh, the point is inside so here pi value is 3 point means 20 22 by 7 so 22 by 7 by 4 sorry 2 that is um, 22 by 14 the value is 1.5 something so that's why we can get the value is uh, mod z is equal to 2 uh, our point is inside because of radius is 2 but our point is 1.57 something so that's why we can um, 
get the point is inside the C. By Cauchy's integral formula, we are writing F double dash of A because of N plus 1 is equal to 3, N is equal to 2. So, now you can find the second order derivative. So, F double dash of A is equal to 2 factorial by 2 pi I integral C F of Z by Z minus A whole cube DZ. So, integral C, what is F of Z? Z cube minus sin 3 Z by Z minus pi by 2 whole cube DZ is equal to 2 to cancel and cross multiply this pi I into F double dash of pi by 2. So, F double dash of pi by 2 means you can find the derivative of F of Z two times. That's why we can write D square by DZ square of Z cube minus sin 3z at z is equal to pi by 2. First order derivative z cube derivative is 3z square minus sin 3z derivative is cos 3z into 3, 3 cos 3z. So, and next order derivative is 3z square derivative is 6z and minus 3 into cos z derivative is cos 3z derivative is minus sin 3z into 3 that is plus 9 sin 3z z is equal to pi by 2. So, substitute the z is equal to pi by 2 because of z, z is equal to a a is equal to pi by 2. So, 6 into pi by 2 plus 9 into sin 3 pi by 2. So, it is 3 pi plus 9 into sin 3 pi by 2 value is minus 1. So, pi i into 3 pi minus 9 is the answer. That's all students today.